Here's our new skate park. It's getting ready to come. Providence Skate Park. It's getting built and getting poured right now. You can see some of the ramps and stuff going in. It's so cool. It looks like it's going to be an awesome little skate park. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog adventure. Uh, I thought I'd bring you guys a quick little video today on how to uh, switch out your bushings. Um, so I was at the skate park this morning. I blew out my set of bushings. Uh, my old ones on my Independence. Well, they're not really old, they were brand new. Um, so that's one thing I totally forgot, is when you get new trucks, you're supposed to give time for your bushings to break in. So I went out and got me a new set of trucks because uh, I wanted to replace the trucks. I wanted to try the Thunders. I haven't rode them since like early 2000s, like 2002 or something like that. Um, these ones are pretty cool because they're the Thunder uh, Ultralights. They have a hollow kingpin in them. I don't know if you can see that hollow kingpin right there, yeah. So usually when trucks, uh, when you get a new set of trucks, they come with soft bushings. And I like hard bushings. Uh, I just like riding with my trucks really tight and whatnot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, switch out your uh, bushings and whatnot. So so switch out your bushings is an easy thing to do. Um, I went and picked up a set of Bones hard bushings. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it might be a little bit dark. I'm in the back of my mobile skate shop here. Um, I, you know, I've been trying to set up a mobile skate shop so that way if I bust a pair of bearings or a snap kingpin or I, you know, just end up breaking some hardware or something, I can just come to my car and have it all set up, have parts, extra, you know, whatever's and whatnot, you know, so like extra decks or something if a case snap a deck or something. But uh, I went out, like I said, I picked up a set of Thunders. Uh, I haven't rode them in a long time, but. Uh, Let's go ahead and get into kind of this part. Replacing your bushings is super easy to do. So take your skate tool, of course, just take off the kingpin nut. All right, I have it loosened up, so I'm just kind of showing that for from the get-go. So once you get your kingpin nut going, okay, there it is. Set it off the side. You got your uh, washer for the top of your bushing. So now that you got the washer off there, just grab your trucks like this. And then pull them out all right so i'm holding it like this because i got the top bushing in there still and i don't want to lose that so i'm gonna set it off to the side now that we have our axle off our uh base plate here there's another set of bushings right here so we got this bushing which is the bottom bushing it's usually square this one is a little bit tapered um one of their main reasons why i'm switching out my bushings is um I don't like to ride with soft bushings and most new trucks come with soft bushings so we're gonna go ahead and take and just put everything back in in reverse so there's our um washer for the bottom bushing okay so with these bones they're both tapered i don't know if you can see that or not both of them are tapered they're both tapered and they got a little bit of a washer on top too so with this one what you want to do is you want to take this bushing right here and flip it over so therefore we really don't need that bottom piece but i'm gonna put it in there just just cause um and then once you have that one on there take it and set front end back in your pivot cup that's your pivot cup right there um you can now like when back in the day when you used to buy uh bushings a set of bushings they'd come with an extra pivot cup now i think you have to buy the pivot cups separate they're probably pretty specific for each truck now um but anyhow since you got the bottom one on there you gotta take the top one put the top one on there like that sometimes you gotta fight with it a little bit set it down make sure it's on there now you have it like that and then since these new bones already have like basically washers built into them just put your kingpin nut back on there. And there you go. That's how you switch out your bushings. Now you're probably wondering, oh, how come I went out and bought a whole brand new set of trucks when I only really needed one truck? Um, the thing is, when you have two different sets of trucks, uh, they have a different turn radius in both the trucks. So you'd be riding pretty squirrely if you had two separate trucks. So you always want to get a set of trucks. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, there we go. So I got it set back down. The nut is basically flush with the kingpin. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and set it flush with the kingpin. It's usually a good spot to set is just flush with the kingpin. Okay, now that it's flush with the kingpin, what I'm going to do is I want to ride it for a while, you know, a couple days, three, four days or something like that, and just deal with the sloppiness. If there is any sloppiness, like I said, these are hard bushings and new trucks, so you just got to give them time to break in. And after that two or three days of riding them, then I can crank it down another half a turn if I need to. Uh, like I said, with these hard bushings, I probably won't have to, but maybe once or twice to get it to where I like it. But uh, anyhow, that's how you do, you switch out your bushings on your trucks and whatnot. Um, another cool thing is, uh, it's been like 30 years in the making, uh, but I'm getting my own line of decks and everything. I'll drop some of my decks on the video here for you. Uh, I finally found a company that's willing to work with me to actually build some of my own skates and everything. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to set up my mobile skate shop back here in the back of my car. So that way if I'm out at the skate park, I don't have to stop and go all the way into town to get a, you know, some hardware or some new bearings or heck even, you know, a new set of trucks if I want a new set of trucks type of thing or wheels or whatever, you know. Uh, I'm going to have a little stash of spare stuff here in my mobile skate park. But uh, anyhow, like I said, I just wanted to bring a quick little video, guys, uh, a quick little video to you guys today uh, on how to replace your bushings and everything. And uh, so that's probably about it for this video today. Uh, like I said, I want to get back out of skating and whatnot. But if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. And I also wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys that are dropping down those likes and hitting down those comments and hitting down those subscribes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much for watching the videos. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys enjoy them, like them, and you're actually watching the full videos and, you know, commenting. Uh, that way I can bring you guys new content and stuff. You're like, hey, you know, show me how to switch out some bearings or something. I'm like, okay. Uh, with most of the bearings these days, they're self, uh, they're, already packed or already pre-packed or self-sealed so all you gotta do is just take a pair of bearings put them in your wheels and you know good is good type of thing uh depending on what type of bearings you want to do that i mean there's all different types of bearings but that'd be a different video for you guys uh i'd get into a little bit of that for you guys if you want or different decks or whatever you know uh like my element here i never rode element i used to ride hookups and toy machine but i don't know if you can see it with this one the nose is actually a little bit longer than the tail. You can really see it in my how to grip your skateboard video. Uh, you can see the tail a little bit shorter than the nose. I used to like to ride with you know a nose that's the same width as the tail. Uh, usually I ride eight decks. Decks are eight inches by 32, so eight by 32s. Um, these trucks are actually seven. They're like. So they're more than 775s, but they're less than 8s, so they're right close to 8s, so they'll fit on the deck just just fine. I mean, as you can see, once I line them up, you know, they're right there, so they'll work just fine. So therefore, you don't always have to have a specific truck um, to go with your deck, and what I mean by that is if you have a truck that's a 775, it might be a little shorter than your deck width and everything which is okay but you always want to try to get it right to the edge of your deck so as your wheels sit there i don't know if you can see that or not let's see if i can get an angle on there as you can see it's i have eights on this uh, deck right now so you can see they're they're right with the board so when you set the board like this you can't see the trucks until right about here so yeah like i said there's different turn radius and everything like that but uh anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping down this video and like i said before thank you guys so much for watching the videos thank you guys so much for dropping down likes subscribes and uh you know most definitely you know keep skating and whatnot and i'll see you on the next adventure